Welcome again to On Coffee, and my be uh, and my guest is Paulina Kalman, a resident oncologist from uh, Poland. Paulina, it's my pleasure to have you in On Coffee. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> the first question is: uh, How do you survive uh, in a residency, and how you survived in medical uh, school? Uh, do you use coffee, or what is your um, I don't know? What is your superpower? <laughs> Uh, so I sometimes drink coffee, but I prefer Kerba Mate. I don't know, maybe you know it. It's really a German thing. I I tried it for the first time when I was in Germany in Erasmus and they have it here. So I recommend it to try. Uh, so, uh, yeah, but also I'm trying to combine having like, a, you know, studying and researching and working. But also uh, I really like doing sports and uh, I think it's a good to find this balance and to not only stuck in work for their whole Ooh. life. <laughs> That's great. So Paulina, you have a poster presentation uh, here at ESMO this year. Uh, could you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, of course. Like, uh, So my poster is uh, in the policy session and uh, as a student I was uh, a member and a president of the Students Society um, for people who are interested in oncology, it's called Student Onco Forum Group. And um, it was uh, granted in uh, 2022. And uh, because in Poland we have this kind of issue that uh, people are not really interested in oncology. And uh, we have a lot of cancer patients, but oncology uh, isn't the most popular specialty. And they have a lack of oncologists in Poland. So we decided to... Um, have this kind of organization to show people that oncology is really inspiring. It's a lot of things to do there. Uh, we have a lot of like uh, possibilities to develop your career. And we started with uh, doing a congress for students to present their research papers. Um, but then from the congress, we turn out to be like a society. And right now we don't only have congresses, you also have uh, mentorship programs, workshops, uh, we are trying to connect people with uh, with professors, find them and mentors and to help them with their research projects. And uh, with one of my mentors, uh, who was also a leader of, the, of this group, uh, we uh, were curious how is the situation and how are the options for students and young professionals in the world. So we did a review and we uh, found out that there are many like uh, courses and summer schools in oncology globally but there are only four um, like a bigger initiatives one of uh, those is ours so we are really proud that in Poland we have something like that and uh, two other are in the US and one is in the UK and uh, we did like a comprehensive review about it and uh, we applied with this paper to ESMO and they accepted it so we are really proud that we could share our experience and also show people how are the options for students, for young doctors to shape oncology globally. So that will be my poster. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's, it's really interesting and you are doing a really great job. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, Paulina, I want to ask, um, as a young specialist, for young specialists, what advice would you give? So I think mentorship is really, really important. Like the people that we are meeting, uh, they are really important. Uh, you don't have to find just one mentor. It's okay to have different mentors at different level of your lives because we change and our needs are changing all the time. So I think it's really important to find a good mentor who will guide you through all those um, things and to guide you through your career pathway. That's the first thing. The second, uh, my favorite, that you should get out of your comfort zone as many times as possible. Because for me, it's the only way how we are growing up and how you are developing. And of course, that will be tough. You will cry and uh, you'll be angry with yourself that you are like uh, pushing yourself. But at the end, you will be really proud of yourself. And with all those experience, uh that you'll get you'll uh, be really really strong and powerful so get out of your comfort zone and don't be afraid of uh, of losing also of asking stupid questions uh, uh, because uh, yeah we are young and we it's, it's how we are uh, growing up and developing so that's my I guess free advices yeah well, <laughs> thank you so much so did they say there are no mistakes those are just experiments yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly 
Thank you so much, Paulina. It was my pleasure you, pleasure to have you on On Coffee. I wish you ultimate success, both in your personal and professional life. And I hope that you're going to achieve two great things. Thank you for being at On Coffee. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.